It wasn't unanimous, but city commissioners in Muskegon are moving forward with a sponsorship agreement resulting in a name change for the city's arena. 13 on your sides, John Mills has more on that name change and why one commissioner in particular did not support it. Beginning January 1st, the LC Walker Arena, as it's been known for nearly 60 years, will become the Mercy Health Arena. Muskegon City Commissioners heard significant opposition to the name change and support for the agreement too, with some taxpayers concerned about the arena's strain on city finances. These kinds of public facilities cost a lot to run. They usually don't pay for themselves by a long shot. The sponsorship agreement between the City of Muskegon, WH Hockey, and Mercy Health begins January 1st. The nonprofit health care system will pay $1.6 million over the next 15 years for the naming rights. 80% of the money will go to the city, 20% to WH Hockey, owners of the Muskegon Lumberjacks. An earlier version of the agreement gave team owners a larger share of the money and commissions too. The final Final version passed in a four to one vote. The input from the community definitely made an impact on how the negotiation um, and changes with the language in the contract. Muskegon City Commissioner Willie German Jr. was the lone no vote. Concerned, like some residents, the city could be in a vulnerable legal position if the Christian cross in Mercy House logo is displayed on a public building. There were some concerns. Uh, and risk factors, uh, possible lawsuit. The agreement calls for the city and Mercy Health to split the cost of a new display inside the arena to honor L.C. Walker and his gift of the arena to the city in 1960. Mr. Walker has um, been a huge asset yeah. to the uh, community, uh, city of Muskegon, and um, uh, something like a bronze statue. City leaders say the naming sponsorship will reduce the city's use of taxpayer funds to support the arena's operation. Mercy Health said in a statement, quote, Mercy Health is proud to support the arena and help ensure that this community asset is here for generations to come. The agreement requires all of the external Mercy Health Arena signs to be in place by March of next year. In Muskegon, John Mills, 13 on your side.